What is up guys, it's your boy Remy here today with another fantastic deck. I know there's no stream today, but hey, cover cast for birthday, so, you know, the birthday is, yeah, like, yeah, I, I, we gotta spend the birthday together, right? Right, so, condition deck, a mook deck, a deck that is definitely an interesting deck, and I wanted to do a condition deck for a while, I know Toxic Croak from Sword and Shield is going to enable more decks like that, right? Because it's going to work kind of like a Sue Viper, but it's a stage two, a stage one, sorry. But I thought, you know, hey, are there any decks or cards that we can use right now? Well, and I figure figure it out. So let's dive in to a condition deck. Before we're going to dive in, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more TCG, more Ya Boy Raven, and of course the whole deck is down there below with the TCG player link to all those cards IRL, plus there's a 5% discount code right there below on Professor Oak if you want to buy a online packs. Right, so let's just jump right into it. So we got a Lolan Mook from uh, Cosmic Eclipse with Panic Poison. Your opponent's active uh, Pokemon is now burned, confused and poisoned. And that's what we will be using. We're gonna burn, we're gonna confuse, we're gonna poison. On top of that, we're gonna top it out. Like the icing on the cake is going to be Chemical Breath. It's 20 plus. This attack does 50 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Right, so we got, I know we first have to get ourselves here, but like this is the icing on the cake, right? The Grimma is an icing on the cake with that deck, but also we do play other cards and we're gonna talk about them. So let's go from left to right. So we do play four Alan Grimmers with two Alan Mooks. We've got two Victinis with victory sign just to get the energy, right? So we wanna early start, early head start to put that energy here quite, quite, quite fast. We got, of course, the Victini Prism card because we are using a fire type engine as you will see in a second we've got a nice spin rack which flip a coin if heads your pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned and we also do have aria dose this attack does 50 more damage for each special condition affecting your opponent so the same thing uh, as as a grimmer and spider trap you may switch one of your opponent's bench pokemon with their active pokemon your opponent's active pokemon is now asleep and poisoned and then you just do reactive poison Quite cool idea, so let's take a look at line of 2-2, two, two, of course. Let's go uh, even further, we got a nice the energy X to get to the pieces that we need. We've got two Fiery Flints, really good looking Fiery Flints, two Great Catchers, two Lily Spooky Dolls, Placet of Poke Gears 3.0, three Pokemon Communications, two Dust Islands, and I know you might have forgot what it is, don't worry, whenever either player switches their poison active Pokemon with one of their benched Pokemon, with the effect of a trainer card like Switch, Tate and Liza, any other, the new Pokemon is now affected by that special condition, which is quite good because we want those conditions to stay on the board. Two giant herbs and one power plant. On top of that, we do have three Guzman Halas, and we do play Guzman Hala not only for the stadiums but also for the special energy that we will be using for Mook, for Victini, maybe less for Victini, but for Spinarak. We got four Koga Traps to put some conditions on your opponent's Pokemon, four Welders, four E-Ringing Bells to confuse your opponent's Pokemon more, and 13 Energy, which are three Rainbow Energies, one Dark-type Energy, eight Fire-type, and one Grass-type. And that's it, like, this is the whole idea, that's how the whole thing about this deck. It's quite simple, it's easy to build, it's honestly, you know, the deck that well, anyone can build. Like, it's not, besides the Danite, it's not, like, the expensive deck. Well, yeah, and, and the gold cards. Yeah, I know. But this is not, like, the most expensive deck you, you can uh, come across. And this deck, like, definitely teaches you what are the conditions, right? Which is quite, quite, quite cool. And definitely can get your opponents of God. So, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? Again, you still want to go first. Because you can still play the Sepulta turn 1, so Koga Strap turn 1 is just perfect. It's devastating to a lot of decks. And you want to evolve, right? You want to have that Mook. You want to have that uh, Aria Dose, right? So you want to have those those pieces. And we do start with Victini. That's not the best start in the world. We also have Koga Strap. Alright, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot better. What can I say? Koga Strap might go turn 1. Guzman Hala, I don't think there's you know, need of Guzman Hala yet. Depending on what we're gonna draw from the mulligan of my opponent. 
You can say Raven, 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 Raven. I'm like, what? Well, some of those matchups, you know, are well not representing the well the deck well. Where well that is true and not true, you know, because if the deck is good, it should work well against everything. Like you look at the Baby Blaze, uh, the Birds decks, many many others, right? And that's the beauty of it. So Poké Gear 3.0. Let's start with Poké Gear. We got nothing. Well, this happens sometimes, so I'm gonna start already with Koga's Trap. And, I mean, it's like there's no point of doing that. I can put the energy here just to discard it later. E-Ringing Bell. Because I don't have anything in my discard pile, and Great Catcher is not gonna let me discard anything, so done. I'm already putting the damage, at least, on the Giratina. So we've already got two conditions. Right. There it goes, Inkai, of course. So we see a Malamar deck, and I'm just not saying anything about Malamar decks. I'm just gonna say I'm probably not gonna build post Sword and Shield any Malamar decks, cause like I get you guys that you love Malamar. I I understand that, but I like enough is enough. Like I understand that you know some someone may play the deck differently, but this is like sometimes going too far <laughs> in terms of. In terms of, of, of course, like, being angry. Like, how dare you do this? How dare you do that? I mean, I kinda... There. Mwaha. No, I'm joking. Um, let's go right like that. I'm gonna play that Dust Island, and yeah. So if he's gonna, you know, use a switch. I'm gonna be able to do something to him, right? I'm gonna be able to... At least put that condition on him and the confusion as well. I believe, like, no, that's poison, right? Yeah, like, but yeah, poison. And he's gonna try to retreat, like, don't get me wrong, he's gonna try to retreat. Like, it's a little bit of a problem, you know, I'm not just drawing what I need and want. Like, Welder would be a perfect draw, you know, Poké Gear, not really happening. But also, you know, my opponent is not having the best game either. With literally no hand. Oh, you gotta be kidding me at this point. Come on. Oh, this is... Well, I mean... Let's see if he's gonna have energy to retreat. Cynthia. Oh, yeah, he's having the energy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right, he, he got me. He got me here. We bricked hard. Or one thing that, you know, if uh, if the matchup is not favorable to a deck that I'm playing, it's like, hey, because, you know, I, I don't want to just show you guys the perfect results and have, you know, like the bad impression of the deck or like the false impression of a deck as well, right? I just want you to see how the deck actually performs, like how it does against all of types of decks. Right, not only, not only the one that's like really, really good. Um, oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, this is, this is good. All right, so I'm gonna use Viridian Forest. Get myself the energy. I'm gonna play that the Dene. Refresh my hand. Let's go. And I can still play Supporter. There's still. <laughs> Really? <sighs> I mean, I need a draw. I need to draw, so... Welder on my GX. I mean, I have Rainbow Energy, so I can use stuff. Alright, but finally can do something, and let's go. Along Grimma. Better late than never, right? And, well... Infinity for a knockout. I mean, knockout is a knockout, I'm gonna take it. Bring back all the energy, and I mean, the fact is that it brings all the energy. Not only a fire type, but it brings back all types of energy, right? So, you saw the grass type coming back to my deck. And, yeah, I had a chance to browse for my deck, I didn't do it. Like, Ryan's gonna be mad at me. But the thing is, I saw there's uh, there are two mooks, three Grimmers, so now two more Grimmers only in the deck. 
Ariados, we brought him back uh, from the discard pile, or from the discard pile, from uh, the prize cards. So let's see uh, how how it's gonna go. I mean, I don't like you know playing that energy on the Danai, but it was just you know one of those things I had to do. Just so I can draw into other cards. All right, that's ten damage. Malamar, Malamar. He's going. He's going to try to get uh, himself, of course, a skateboard retreat. And well, yeah, like this is you know this is going to be uh, the thing. If he's going to find a skateboard, of course. If not, well, that's going to be a different story. So let's see. Psychic recharge, psychic recharge. There still might be a switch. Hmm. I mean, he has a setup that I can just use each turn, Dratina. So that's something I do like. Yep, there goes a the switch, there goes a the knockout. <laughs> Alright, so I can play the Danai just because I have a free retreat cost. A free, uh, I can retreat because I have the energy underneath it. And I can start preparing Grimmer or anything else. There we go, another Grimmer. Hmm. Alright. That's the energy. Uh, I mean, Guzman Hala. But it will do not a lot. I mean, I can search for a stadium if I want to, but I have it in my hand. Like, even searching for two energies, this is not really like. You know what? Thinning out a deck. Let's thin out a deck. Let's check what we got. So we got Victinis, we got Mooks, we got one Grimmer. Three Welders still. Alright. So one Ariados is still prized. Which is you know good to know. Uh, I'm mean, the Danica withstand his attack. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the Danny front. Because with the Danny can, it's gonna end up like having 140 damage on itself. And then next turn, I can just play energy on Grimma, Koga's Trap, knock it out. Or he just, you know, may miss the coin flip, right? It's also a possibility. I like those ducks flying you know, above Dratina's head, like duck, duck, duck. Right, 26 cards. All right, he's putting you know, stuff on the blaze full on, alright. As you can clearly see, like he's preparing his fireworks bomb for me, so if I'm gonna have. Oh, hit and miss, baby, hit and miss. This gives me one more turn. Of me messing around, which is quite good. Honestly, I like that. I like you know having one more turn so I can just do stuff. And well, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna pass because you can still attack. And we got the same situation, the same scenario where I'm gonna end up with 140 damage on the Dene, but this time I have t both Alan Grimmers ready to go, right? So if one's gonna get knocked out, I don't have to wait a turn to do something, and I do have two Kogus traps as well, right? So there are options for me. 
Ooh, so Galen Lunala didn't actually expect this. Oh, and by the way, if anyone says that Lily's full force doesn't, is not good and doesn't, you know, and should not be in, in, in Malamar deck, well, you should definitely check out my RL game. And again, no, like I'm not saying anything about Malamars because again, you know, I know, I know. Not saying all of you, but you know, some some Malamar. I know you you are hardcore about Malamar, and I get it. I understand that it's a great deck. Don't get me wrong, it's a great deck. But there are other decks, you know, like just don't get that 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 harsh on people playing different decks. <laughs> right. You know what? I'm going to use a GX. All right, let's just card a coaster. I'm going for the GX. I think you will not expect the GX to happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself Dust Island, Rainbow Energy and e ring Bell. I mean, if he expects the GX, I'm going to be surprised. Like, honestly, I'm going to be super surprised if he expects the GX to happen. Because then, you know, he will not get the prize card out of the Dene. And that's why I want to do it. And I'm just going to give him this Grimma. So, Tingly turn. I mean, I know it's still not a knockout, but it's a paralysis, right? So, again, I'm still giving myself turns, I'm still giving myself time, and I just got rid of, like, the main target, the main focus of his. I know it's not every day you see that, I know, but I just... There was just nothing, nothing better I could have done. And he's paralyzed, so I'm just gonna go play Koga's Traps, just so Spell Tag is not gonna work. Right? Alright, he's switching, right? So there's gonna be a switch. Retreat. And he's gonna attack and get confused again. Alright, it's fine. It's all good, it's all fine, it's all fine, some might say. Alright, Grimma. And I mean, you know, the fact that, like, look at that, like, he's 16 cards left in the deck. We're still far away from finishing that game. Alright, so the question is, can I get a Mook right now? Like, that's the question. So Cookus Trap, so I'm not activating, actually, Spell Tag. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna get a Mook, so... Oh, that's just, that, like, this Adana is risky, like, that, like, don't... Yeah. This is risky, but I need stuff, and oh yeah, there we go. Lily Spooky Doll. Lily Spooky Doll. Um, Victory Sign Victini, I'm gonna keep for now, and I'm just gonna pass the turn. I'm not gonna do anything, which means Spell Tag is not working and it's a knockout. So I avoided the Spell Tag, and it's good, but n right now my focus has to be this Blaze Falon. Like, I'm scared of this Blaze Falon, and he can just, you know, start Cosmic Burn me with Sol Galen Lunala. But what I think he's gonna do, he's just gonna bring or Jirachi, or, you know, anything else. Bring back Jiratina, charge it up, yeah. Skateboard, charge up Jiratina, and attack with it. Then I'm just gonna play Lily's Poké Doll. Put e ringing Bell on Lily's Poké Doll, and, well, you know, we'll see. On 
this is getting interesting. Like, this is a really interesting game right now. Because I know he has this loop, right? Like, he has his loop. He has, you know, everything he wants. What else now, right? What else can he do? Still, I wish. And then, you know, using my GX. I'm not gonna say that was clever, because, like... Oh, wait, does he, he might not have the energy in his hand, wait, 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 one, yeah, he goes now for the Dene, all right, so it's gonna be the Dene, energy from hand, also Galdunal, and a knockout. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Rooster and Solgaldo now for the knockout. Well, we know, right? We know that Dana is vulnerable for that, and... I mean, there was not nothing else that I could, I could have done. There was not, I don't think there was any other option than playing like that. Alright, Pokemon Communicator, so I will finally have Mook. Finally. Hmm. I don't need a Poke Gear. We got, you know, we got a Welder, we got all of that stuff, so really no need of that. So, Welder, I'm gonna draw three. On the Mook. And a giant Herf, so he is unable to actually get. Get, get, get. Stuff. And I mean, I can right now, I, what I can do is just, you know, play Lily's Poké Doll. Like, a ringing bell on Lily's Poké Doll and just wait. Because I don't think he has custom catchers. Like, I, um, I don't think so. Yeah, let's just go like that. Because I, mean, I know he can't attack, but what he can do is just retreat and put back those two energies that are going to be in the discard pile. Right, so he would still be able to attack with Giratina, anything else. So, this is a problem then for me, right? I mean, stalling a game a little bit maybe is an option. Yeah, look at that, just you know, one retreat card, he's gonna go with Giratina. Because the more I stall, like the more damage he's putting on whatever mod here. Oh, right, he's going with Blaze Falon. Okay. So he wants to put those four uh, damage counters. So not really you know, going for the whole 12, he's going for the four. Uh, just so he can actually get rid of uh, Lately Spokedale and maybe put 10 damage somewhere else. So this means I have to, yeah. So this means I kind of have to be aggressive right now. Huh. Alright, Welder. Okay, we got Spinner Rack and Spinner Rack. So let's go for Panic Poison. Alright, that's a weakness. And that's literally every condition, like almost every condition you can, uh, you can have. I feel like maybe you know, this the Dene move, right? Like maybe this the Dene move was, yeah, it was not good. 
the fact that I, I slammed a second that like that I, th I think that was you know maybe a mistake it could have been but you know the game great game no matter what a really good one A little bit of st slow start, you know, a rough start. But there's still resistance, my friend. There's still resistance. Alright, so he kind of wants to... Alright, so I know what he's planning. I have six cards left. He has six cards left. I know his plan. So panic poison. There's a weakness. Burn, confusion, poison. I mean, this is, you know, this is down to the last cards of the deck. Great game. Switch. Switch Jirachi, and he's just gonna go with Slugal Lunala, or back with Jiratina, yeah. I mean, there's nothing I can do, you know, all I have are spinner racks. Oh, yeah, there's still Mook. Okay, so we got a Mook, we got a Rainbow Energy. I can still do stuff. But, I mean, you know, I know this is a game. He has the Blazeful on ready. So, yeah, like, what I'm gonna do here, that's a game, and I'm activating his spell attack, because he's getting knocked out by the damage from the attack, not from the condition. So, yeah, this is the game. It's a GG. Uh, unfortunately. But, you know, so it is what it is. And, well, something, you know, you you win some, you lose some, right? So we are at three. Ariados is here. Ah, it was so close. We were so, so, so close. And that's the finishing touch of my opponent. I'm gonna let him do that. So guys, this, this is a condition deck for you guys for that fantastic day. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more decks. Of course, the whole deck list is down there below. You can check it out yourself. And thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye and good night. Raven loves you. Take care. Bye.